गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज इंद्रजीत कौर वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ एस टी बी ए स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर कॉन्टिन्यूइंग विद रनिंग चैप्टर दैट इज इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर इन फर्स्ट टू वीडियोज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इम्पोर्टेंस प्रॉब्लम्स एंड फीचर्स ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस एग्रेरियन रिफॉर्म्स विच वर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई इंडियन गवर्नमेंट to increase the production and productivity of agricultural sector students vast increase in crop production was realized in 1967 because of these agrarian reforms and this vast increase in crop production is known as green revolution students agrarian reforms are, are categorized into three parts first is technical reforms second category is institutional reforms and third category is general reforms first of all i will explain you technical reforms as it is cleared by name technical reforms means technical changes so we can say technology was changed in agricultural sector because earlier we were we were using uh, old technology because of it agricultural production and productivity both were low but now latest technology was introduced different agriculture universities were also established to introduce high yielding variety seeds so we are explaining point to point first point is use of hyv seeds hyv seeds means high yielding variety seeds students these seeds were introduced for increasing production and productivity these were introduced for cotton rice wheat maize and bajra and because of these seeds we realized vast increase in the crop production so next point is use of chemical fertilizer chemical fertilizer was also introduced was also uh, introduced by universities chemical fertilizer is also known as synthetic fertilizer chemical fertilizer is used to fulfill the nutritional requirement of the land so because of it production and productivity both were increased next point is use of insecticide and pesticide for crop protection students as you all know that different crops are having different type of insects and pests and these insect and pest destroy the crop production so insecticide and pesticide was introduced for protecting crop production from the pest and insects so in this way we got a vast increase in agricultural sector next point scientific farm management practices in scientific farm management practices we uh, introduce crop rotation or we can say universe according to the research of universities crop rotation was introduced crop rotation ka matlab hota hai ki hame badal badal ke faslein beejni chahiye kyunki agar ek fasal se koi nutrient ki kami ho jati hai soil ke andar to dusri fasal se usko pura kara ja sakta hai so crop rotation was also adopted and in scientific farm management practices leveling was also made of the soil leveling ka fayda ye hota hai ki jab ek hi level pe zameen hogi to usme machines ko bhi easy ho jayega chalana aur irrigation facility bhi easily hum unko plants ko de payenge next point is mechanized means of cultivation new machines were introduced for increasing production in agricultural sector in the, in these machines tractors threshers combines drilling machine and cultivators were introduced so these machines are were also contributing 
for this green revolution so this green revolution was the combined impact of all these technical reforms students moving towards the next type of reforms that is land reforms or institutional reforms these institutional or land reforms are related to the ownership of the land as you all know that earlier in agricultural sector we were having zamindari system because of this zamindari system tillers were exploited badly so this in this first point is abolition of intermediaries intermediaries means zamindars so zamindari system was abolished so that farmers or tillers can be protected from the exploitation so because of the abolition of zamindari system now tillers were the real owners of the soil next point regulation of rent now rent uh, maximum limit of rent was fixed by the government maximum limit which was fixed by government it was one third of the total crop production means now uh, maximum rent which can be taken from the farmer it can be one third of the total crop production earlier tillers were exploited by the zamindars because they were demanding more and more uh, land revenue so this this step was again beneficial for the farming of indian uh, economy next point consolidation of land holdings consolidation means to combine students earlier farmers were having small pieces of land one piece was here and second piece was there now a big piece of land was given to that particular farming uh, sorry uh, to that particular farmer instead of having these small pieces मतलब ये कि एक जमींदार के पास मान लो तीन टुकड़े जमीन के हैं तो वो तीनों अलग अलग जगह पे हैं तो गवर्नमेंट ने वो तीनों टुकड़ों की बजाय उनको एक ही जगह पे बड़ा पीस दे दिया उससे फायदा ये हुआ कि जमीन का साइज बड़ा हो गया और उसमें मशीन ऑपरेट करनी इजी हो गई और उसमें इरीगेशन फैसिलिटी पे भी उनका ज्यादा एक्सपेंसिस नहीं आए सो दिस वॉज ऑल्सो अ पॉजिटिव स्टेप टूवर्ड्स द प्रोस्पेरिटी ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ceiling on land holdings and redistribution of surplus land ceiling on land holdings means now maximum limits for ownership was fixed by the government and extra land was taken by government and it was further redistributed among the landless farmers so in this way uh, indian agriculture uh, faced a new era and this was also a positive step kyunki ab chote jo farmer the ya jinke paas zameen nahi thi unke paas bhi zameen aa gayi to wo bhi zyada interest leke kheti karne lag gaye is tarike se production bhi badh gaya aur productivity bhi badh gayi next point cooperative farming cooperative farming means when small pieces of land are merged of different farmers and it is converted into big farm so it will be giving benefits of large scale so jab hum bada khet bana lenge ek chote chote tukdon ko merge karke bada piece ban jayega to usme machine bhi easily chal payenge aur irrigation ka bhi facility easy ho jayegi aur usko watch karna bhi easy ho jayega aur baad mein kya hota tha ki profits wo apne jo bhi ownership hoti hai unke chote chote land ke upar uske hisab se wo apna crop production ko baant lete the to cooperative farming bhi ek acha initiative tha agricultural sector mein production को बढ़ाने का सो दीज वर इंस्टीट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म्स नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज थर्ड टाइप ऑफ रिफॉर्म्स जनरल रिफॉर्म्स इन जनरल रिफॉर्म्स फर्स्ट रिफॉर्म वॉज इरिगेशन फैसिलिटी 
irrigation facility was provided by government so that agricultural production can be enhanced earlier total agricultural land was depending upon rainfall but now irrigation because of the introduction of irrigation facility production uh, and productivity both increased next point provision of credit provision of credit means now different type of banks were opened in rural areas for example rrbs regional rural banks and rdbs means rural development banks were opened and moreover apex institution which was helping into the credit facilities in rural areas was established that was nabard and it was established in 82 1982 so these this was apex institution which was helping to other financial institution for providing credit facility to the farmers next point is regulation uh, sorry regulated markets and cooperative marketing now markets were established in rural area so that farmer can uh, sell their uh, crop production at very good prices पहले क्या होता था कि फार्मर्स को फसल जब कट जाती थी जब तैयार हो जाती थी बेचने के लिए तो वो फसल ओपन में उनको रखनी पड़ती थी अब क्या हो गया मार्केट से आने की वजह से उनको बाउंड्रीज करके दे दी गई मार्केट के अंदर और ऊपर शेड जो है वो लगा दिए गए ताकि फार्म की ताकि जो क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन है वो खराब ना हो ताकि वो ना तो एनिमल्स उसको खराब करें और ना ही बैड वेदर कंडीशन की वजह से वो खराब तो फार्मर को अगर वेट भी करना पड़े अच्छी प्राइस के लिए तो वो वेट कर सकते थे और अगर गवर्नमेंट की मार्केट नहीं है तो कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज के थ्रू मार्केट्स को जो है एनकरेज करा गया कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज अपने मेंबर फार्मर्स को फसल रखने देते हैं उस मार्केट के अंदर और इन मार्केट्स को शहरों से जोड़ दिया गया सिटी से कनेक्ट कर दिया गया ताकि उनकी फसल का अच्छी प्राइस उनको टाइमली मिल सके नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज प्राइस सपोर्ट पॉलिसी इट इज आल्सो नोन एज एमएसपी पॉलिसी मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस पॉलिसी मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस पॉलिसी इज इन द फेवर ऑफ फार्मर कई बार क्या होता है कि प्रोडक्शन बहुत ज्यादा हो जाता है प्रोडक्शन ज्यादा होने से फार्मर को नुकसान होता है फायदा होने की बजाय क्योंकि प्राइसेस बहुत ज्यादा डाउन हो जाती हैं तो प्राइसेस बहुत ज्यादा डाउन होती हैं उस केस में गवर्नमेंट परचेजेस क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एट अ पर्टिकुलर प्राइस सो दैट दे कैन अर्न एटलीस्ट नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट और दिस क्रो प्रोडक्शन विच इज विच इज टेकन बाय गवर्नमेंट इट विल बी मेंटेन्ड एज बफर स्टॉक्स बफर स्टॉक्स में पड़ी है फसल तो कभी भी कहीं भी नेचुरल क्लाइमेटी होती है डिक्लेयर तो इस फसल को या इस क्रो प्रोडक्शन को गवर्नमेंट यूटिलाइज कर लेती है या फिर पीडीएस सिस्टम के थ्रू जो है डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करवाने में इसको यूज कर लेती है सो दीज ऑल द ऑल वर द एग्रेरियन रिफॉर्म्स और ये पॉजिटिव स्टेप्स थे जो गवर्नमेंट ने उठाए जिसकी वजह से हमने ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन को इंट्रोड्यूस करवाया या ये कह लो कि हमने रियलाइज करा काफी ज्यादा प्रोडक्शन में इंक्रीज आया बेशक हाई जील्डिंग वराइटी सीड्स हमने चार पांच फसल के लिए इंट्रोड्यूस करे बट मेन इंक्रीज जो हमने रियलाइज करा वो था वीट की प्रोडक्शन का इंक्रीज सो ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वीट रेवोल्यूशन सो this was uh, today's topic agrarian reforms three categories were there technical reforms institutional reforms general reforms so in this way agriculture production was increased and now we are waiting for second green revolution